Come on, you can do it, keep going.
Exactly right. You got to remember that. That is key. Um, and again, you learn about wife submission uh, rather than adultery. The cause for divorce is the divorce or remarriage. He'd rather. Okay, that was number seven. Seven was wait to God for his peace. That marriage is right. Seven marriages will definitely start with only one exception being adultery. What has happened over the years or over time is people will just go out and, and not really get to know them. Uh, in other words, they'll get married after a couple hours. Or I've seen people get married after one day. They just met each other and they said they fell in love and they got married. That's crazy. That's tough. Because you don't even know that person. You don't know anything about them. So what he's teaching there is to be very careful. What decision you're about to make is a lifelong commitment. There's only one grounds for divorce in the Bible. And God doesn't even want you to divorce then. He wants you to forgive one another and work it out. But he did give one grounds, and that's for fornication or adultery. If one or the other you commit adultery, then God has given you a grounds in the Bible for divorce. But he doesn't want that. And even if you find, and this is what's going to be because you're young, every human being is tempted from other people, there could be a, there be times when uh, you're you're upset at each other, you're mad or fire for how he treated you or how she treated you, or and you two go to bed mad, you wake up mad, and then you find that you're at work and some old boy or some old girl starts eyeing you, telling you you're 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 nice. If my if I was your husband, I wouldn't be doing that. He's starting to he only has one thing in mind in the end. And that's wrong. So what you've got to be careful is who your friends are. You've got to be careful that other are going to, you, you realize people are going to tempt you uh, throughout life. So what he's teaching is realize that you've prayed about it, you've asked God, is this the mate you've got for me? Consider it well before you say I do. Because once you say, I do, in God's eyes, it's done. Mm -hmm. Okay? For death, do us part. Richer or poor. Uh, for, for good health or bad health. That's all wrong. My mom got married on Friday night, 13. And it, was, it, was a, it, was a, it was a nice wedding. Yeah. You know, everybody was there. So um, your mom got married? Our son got when she got the first time she got married. Yeah. But, no, I was the fly girl who dropped the flowers around the church. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was so cool. <laughs> that was so cool. Okay. So who had the yellow scripture? I do. Okay. Do you have your stuff? Yeah. I can just glance at yeah. it real quick. Yeah. I hope you understand my hand. Right? Okay.
one that I think is still, they think the show. That the one came and got the band with him that night. He was my sister. He was my sister. I don't play no game. He was my sister. They up in the bed. Got the shotgun with Terry. Feel me clear with him. I'm going down. You ready? Why you gotta mess with me?
Two days. Two days. Two days. Two days. What you looking for? A stocking? Stocking. Hey, you don't need no stockings, man. Mm-hmm. Hey, you gonna look right. You gonna look right as possible. Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh, you got it, 
want it this morning. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here in the presence of God, this company that Jatavius and Jalisha may be united in holy matrimony. We are here to celebrate and to share in the glorious act that God is about to perform. The act by which he converts their love for one another into the holy and sacred estate of marriage. This relationship is an honorable and sacred one established by our God for the welfare. It is designed to unite two sympathies and hopes in the one, and it rests upon the mutual confidence and devotion of husband and wife. May it be in extreme thoughtfulness and reverence and independence upon divine guidance that you enter now into this holy relationship. The Apostle Paul compared the relationship between husband and wife to that between Christ and the church. Marriage is a decision of two individuals. 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 4 through 8 says, Charity suffers long and is kind. Charity envieth not. Charity vaunteth not itself and is not puffed up. Do not behave itself unseemly. Seeketh not her own. Is not easily provoked. Thinketh no evil. Rejoice not in iniquity, but rejoice in the truth. It beareth all things, and believeth all things, and hope all things, endureth all things. Charity is an Old Testament English word that means love. Charity never faileth. But whether there be prophecies, they shall fail. 
whether there be tongues, they shall cease. And whether there be knowledge, it shall vanish away. Jatavius and Jalisa, this kind of love enriches each part of life and marriage enriches love. Two lives shared with this kind of love can hold more fulfillment and happiness than either life alone. Jatavius, are you ready to enter into this marriage with Jalisa? Believing the love you share and your faith in each other will endure all things. Okay. Jalisa, are you ready to enter into this marriage with Jatavius? Believing the love you share and your faith in each other will endure all things. I hear you. Sorry. I do. Okay, she said I do. Wow. All right. Well, this at this time we're going to perform the marriage vows. Jatavius, do you take Jalisa to be your wedded wife to live together after God's ordinance in holy matrimony? Do you promise to love her, to honor and cherish her in joy and in sorrow, in sickness and in health? And to be to her in all things a good and faithful husband, as long as you both shall live? Yes. Jalisa, do you take Jacobius to be your wedded husband? To live together after God's ordinance and holy matrimony. Do you promise to love and obey him? To honor and cherish him in joy and in sorrow, in sickness and in health? And do you, uh, to him, to be all things a good and faithful wife as long as you both shall live? Jatavius, I'm going to ask you to repeat after me. I, Jatavius, take the Jalisha to be my wedded wife, to be my wedded wife, to have and to hold, to have and to hold, from this day forward, from this day forward, for better, for better, for worse, for worse, for richer, for richer, for poorer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. And sickness and health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. According to God's holy ordinance. According to God's holy ordinance. And there too. I pledge thee my faith. I pledge me my faith. I, Jalisa, take thee, Jacobius, to be my wedded husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better. In sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, till that do us part. According to God's holy ordinance, and thereunto, I pledge thee my faith. Father in heaven, we come before you this night, Lord, in an agreement, Father. To unite two into one. And Father, I pray your blessing, Lord God, upon Jatavius and Jalisha. And Lord God, I pray that as their days go forth, they would be rich in love towards each other, Father. That, that mountains would be moved, obstacles would be brought down and out of their way. I pray that you would bless them in a mighty way, Lord God. May you 
uh, use them to be fruitful and bring uh, love to this world and to show the love of each other. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, at this time, this is the time that we exchange the rings. It is a Christian custom to exchange rings as a symbol of love. As the rings have no end, so your love for each other should have no end. And as the rings are made of gold, symbolizing purity, so should your marriage have purity. As often as either of you see them, you will be reminded of this moment and the endless love that you promised one another. Jatavius, what token do you give that you will perform your vows? Jaleesa, do you receive this ring in token of saying? I'm going to ask Tavius if you'll place that on her hand. Mm -hmm. yes. okay. I'd like for you to repeat after me. Janisa, this ring I give to you in token and pledge of my constant faith and abiding love. Janisa, what token do you give that you will perform your vows? Jalisa, would you repeat this after me? This ring I give to you in token and pledge of my constant faith and abiding love. At this time, this is the time that we light the unity candle and we sign the license. So the license we have prepared here for me to sign. And we're going to have Angela is going to sing a song as the two of you light the unity candle.
blow it out. Father, we love you, Lord, and we thank you so much for what you're doing in our lives. And Father, today, as we have united these two together, Father, we're again asking that you would bless their home, Father, that you would enrich it with your love, and Father, that it might be bountiful and fruitful. And Lord, we're thank so thankful, Father, for friends and family that supports. And Lord, may they be an encouragement, a strength to this young couple. As the days go forward and as the trials of life come, may you give them the wisdom. May you give them the strength and the power. May they love one another with a whole heart, Father, given totally to each other, Lord, that it might glorify your name. We love you, Jesus. We honor you in Jesus' name. Amen. No weapons, so we're prospering. We're going to sing this a cappella. Well, I will say this the groom's probably waiting to kiss the bride. All those days watching for me, all those years outside looking in, all that time never even knowing just how blind I've been. Now I'm here, blinking in the starlight. Now I'm here, suddenly I see. Standing here, it's all so clear. I'm where I meant to be. And at last I see the light. And it's like... The fog has lifted, and at last I see the light. And it's like the sky is now, and new, and warm, and real, and bright. And the world has somehow shifted. Beautiful. All at once, everything looks different. Now that I see you. I have something for you too. I should have given it to you before. But I was scared. And now there's things I know. All those days chasing down a daydream, all those years living in a blur, all the time never truly seeing things the way they were. Now she's here shining in the starlight, now she's here suddenly I know. If she's here, it's crystal clear, I'm where I meant to go. And at last I see the light, and it's like the fog has lifted. And at last I see the light, and it's like the sky is new. All right. And it's like the sky is new, it's warm and real and bright, and the world has somehow shifted. All at once, 
everything is different now that I see you. Now that I see you. Oh, Well, this is the time that we do our declaration of the marriage. What therefore God hath joined together, let no man put asunder. For as much as Jatavius and Jalisa have consented together in holy matrimony and have witnessed the same before God and this company and have pledged their love and loyalty to each other and have declared the same by the joining and the giving of rings, I therefore, by the authority given me, I pronounce that they are husband and wife in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The groom may now kiss the bride. I now present to you, turn around, Mr. and Mrs. Jatavius and Jalisha Moore. Jalisha, let me see your face. <laughs>